So we're talking about this thing, congruent triangles. How many parts do we need to know so that we can make exact dupli duplicates of triangles and not have to measure all six parts? Well, let's look at see if we know two parts. Uh, let's try with knowing one side and one angle. So we got a side of 5.4 and a 65 degree angle. All right, so we come down here and make a 5.4, make a 65 degree angle, and throw this other side, this A1C side in here. Awesome. Now tell somebody else the same thing. They do a 5.4, they got this 65, yeah, it's kind of sliding off. They got this 65 degree angle, and they make a complete different triangle. So just knowing two parts, side and angle, not enough. How about side and a side? That was one side, one angle. Let's go side and side. All right. So, come on, open up side, side. All right, it was open before. I don't know why it's not open there. There we go. All right, so we know two sides, 5.9, 4.3. Um, I can make them any size I want. I just I got them set to a, to a slider here. So now let's make a third side. Let's, let's finish our triangle. All right. So there's that one. And here is, I think you're going to see that these, these are not going to be the same triangle. And we'll measure them just to clarify. And wow, yeah, those aren't the same. So just, oh, I made an isosceles triangle. Interesting. Um, just by knowing two sides, apparently, is not enough either. Well, let's try two angles. All right. I got a 50, a 50, and I just measured angles, and I happen to have sides there measured also. Shrink that down. Um, yeah, there's a 70, there's a 50, and... I got a whole bunch of different triangles with those numbers in them. So, apparently knowing only two parts out of six is not enough.